Give me the gun, Jeremy. Come on, you don't need it. Pigs don't use guns. I hope. Stay away from that hole. You spiteful bastard. Oh no! Don't tell me, it's already seven. Bloody hell, it's time for the soup! <laughs> Looks like you two ugly birdies will have to wait your turn. to be mad to eat those bloody things. It's time for your soup, idiot. I'm not hungry. Oh, don't give me that. I've had a difficult day. I don't care. Oh, you don't care, do you? I shit on you and your fucking soup. Oh, yeah? Didn't I bloody tell you? I'm having a difficult bloody day! Fuck you, bitch. Nice. Real nice. Right. Here comes your soup, whether you want it or not. There. It's done. I won't have to put up with any of your dilly-dallying anymore. Hmm? It's you again. Who else did you expect? Hi. You are right. I've been better. Yeah, I can tell. You look like you're in some deep shit. That's actually exactly what happened. 
I was in deep shit. But I'm okay now. What about you? How are things here? Well... I'll be honest. Things have been pretty fucked up lately. What's wrong? <sighs> it's Ruby. She's gone. Ruby? Oh, the new big girl. From the cellar? Yeah. She went feral the other night. Just like Destiny. So, I closed the shop. There's no one here that needs my food anymore. I feel like I should leave, but I don't know where to go. Have you been eating? You look so... skinny. With Ruby gone, I've lost my appetite. All this food in here, and I just feel sick looking at it. You're wasting away. You shouldn't worry about me. Don't you have enough problems of your own? Because I'm good, I'm okay. I'll go somewhere, get some sleep. Yeah, that's what I need. A long, long sleep with no dreams. Where did Ruby go? The street, I think. I can hear the pounding of her feet at night sometimes. I just turn off the lights and hide. My advice. If you happen to bump into her, make sure you have enough bullets on you. Or just run. That's what I'd do. She's slow as shit. Just dash past her and you'll be alright. You can't just give up, you know. I'm not giving up. I've been defeated. And I've accepted it. What else can I do? Just wait. Be patient. Sooner or later, someone new will come along, and you'll make food for them. Isn't that what you want? No, not anymore. I can see things clearly now, and I'm okay with all of this. I must go. We must all go, in the end. Any other threats out there that I should know about? Well, have you met the dead guys? Yeah. I met a whole bunch at the cemetery the other day. They looked like... burnt corpses. And I'm pretty sure they wanted to eat me. What are they? <sighs> They're the poor sods who won't accept their fate. That's all. They were weak in life, and they're just as weak in death. Sometimes a single bullet is enough to bring them down. You still have your gun, yes? I wish. But no, I lost it. Well, I'm sure there's another one somewhere out there. How do I get back now? Why? What's there to go back to? Would you understand if I told you? <sighs> You're right, I probably wouldn't. This place has been my home for as long as I can remember. But it's not mine. Not yet, anyway. All right, all right. I know just the thing. There's this guy, Ben. Ben the Barber. He said he was expecting you. Expecting me? Said something about a haircut. You two had an appointment? Not exactly, but... Well, his shop's here on Burnhouse Lane, just a few doors down from mine. The problem is the road is blocked. You'll have to go out the back door, then cut through the old swimming pool. But no rush. Have a nice smoke first. I'll open the door when you're ready. Right. I'll have a smoke now. You done? Then cross over the counter. I'll take you to the back door. This way.
good luck out there. Hopefully we'll meet again, someday. Thanks. Yeah. See you next time.
Thank you.